Hey everyone, welcome to my September budget video. My first budgeting video in a very long time. Um, I do try to film these from time to time for you guys, but it seems like every single time I try, something comes up and causes technical difficulties or, um, you know, interrupts my time that I have set aside or whatever. So we're gonna see what we can do with the time that I have today. Um, I'm already off to a really, really bad start um, because my camera keeps shutting off for uh, various reasons. Either it's overheating or something's going on with the memory card, but let's see what we can do. <laughs> um, I did start recording and like showing you how I set up my planner, but that's already done. And um, I'll just kind of like walk you through anything you might need to know. Um, for this page, what I like to do is put all of my bills um, and then summarize by week, or in this case, a week and a half um, at a time. So I can just get an idea at a glance of what's coming out of our checking account that week. Um, most of these are normal, like regular monthly bills, but um, I will say, uh, our national grid, which is our power and uh, natural gas, is a little bit annoying to deal with because it, it keeps jumping back and forth between like the end of the previous month or this month when the actual bill comes out. Um, but I'm just going to keep it on the first and um, just work with it from there. Um, you'll see I do account for it in this last week because it's going to be coming out somewhere around here. Um, I just don't know exactly when, but um, yeah. Um, and I do have a bill due sticker here for our school taxes. Um, you're not going to see this full amount in the budget layout on the next page um, because basically I, I set the money aside as I am able to for the... Um, tax bill in a separate account, like a sinking fund for it. Um, so we just need to come up with the remainder that we don't have, the difference between what we have saved and what the bill comes to. Um, and I don't actually have the bill yet. They probably won't get that out for the next couple of days. Um, so I'm just estimating here. I kind of round it up, but um, if the tax rate is up more than I anticipate, then it might actually be over this, but our um, bill last year was 25 something. So I'm just rounding it up to 2,600 for planning purposes. Um, okay, so I began to set this page up and that's when the, um, one of the instances where my camera shut off. So I just decided to go ahead and finish setting everything up and I will fill it in with you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we'll start working on our budget. Okay, so I, first of all, I definitely rushed through that intro because I was so tired of filming it for like the seventh time. So I apologize if that seemed a little bit rushed. Um, how have you guys been doing since I was last filming? Um, a lot has been going on here. Um, I don't even remember if I shared that I had a baby uh, last September. Um, that obviously was a big part of the reason that I haven't been filming um, because now I have a two-year-old and an almost one-year-old. So things are a little bit crazy. There's not a lot of quiet time here. Um, they do get out of the house and go to my mother-in-law's two days a week usually, but um, in those days I usually am working on filling orders and things. So I'm going to really try to make an effort to make this a priority. I'm sure I've said that before, but we're, we're gonna try to go for it. Um, yeah, I apologize if this video is a little rough. I am obviously out of practice and filming is a little bit unnatural and it'll take a little time for me to get kind of in the groove, but I really appreciate you sticking with me. So, um, the kit I'm using here for my 
September budget is kit uh, 98 from my shop. It's called um, Amethyst Garden. And I really love this. Um, the like floral print is so, so pretty. I love the colors and definitely my favorite for September. I love the colors of the, um, this Moonlit Succulent kit. This is kit 97. Um, and then the other two for September, I like, but I'm not sure I'm going to be excited about using those quite as much as these. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get on into the budget. Um, I am going to put all of our income in one line item because my husband and I are both self-employed and things kind of change, um, from month to month and things have changed over time to where I feel more comfortable just keeping that pretty vague um, when it comes to sharing my personal finances on the internet. So I'm just going to have one income line and then one more line for miscellaneous um, for various reasons, but um, I'm sure you can understand that. Maybe at some point in the future, I will go back to like separating everything out. But um, I will say that over time, things have really shifted, especially with me having the kids at home. Um, I used to bring home most of the income while he was building up his business, but now his business is to the point where he's paying us more and I really don't make a whole lot of money because we're either paying a babysitter or I have the kids so I'm not able to be as productive so um yeah that's how things have changed over time in a general sense if that helps um at all because our total like take home amount really hasn't changed it's the timing has worked out very well where as my income decreased his went up so it worked out really well that way um so I'm going to say just like Income number one and two. Um, and then I'm just going to put, we are a little flexible with this um, because of what we like to keep in our business checking accounts as a little bit of like float money. Um, so this is kind of like an estimate, but usually we stick to it pretty well pretty well, pretty consistent, consistently. Um, so I'm going to put 4,500 for expected income in there. Um, and then a miscellaneous line just for, um, anything else. Okay. On to the bills. Um, all right. So the first thing that we have here and I apologize, this is really hard to write with my hand off the side of the page. Let's do that. Um, we have our mortgage. Which is $787. We have tuition. I generally like write this as like a highest to lowest, at least that's how I think of them. So that's the order they end up in. Um, 540, we have car insurance, which is 147. We have, um, National Grid, which is our, um, our power, um, that it's going to be 200. We have Spectrum, our internet provider, and that will be 60. Our trash bill is going to be, oh, hold on a second. I'm going to correct this. I have it on a spreadsheet and I, okay. That's 
that is going to be 41. Our cell phones will be 60. Life insurance, I keep the bills separate on the um, calendar page, but I lump them together here in the budget like line item. So that will be 41. Um, we have care credit. I plan on putting 110 to that. Um, and then I'll be paying extra on top of that payment. Um, but I'll get to that part later. And then our explorer is 364. So now totaling all of these up, let me just like double check because I want to make sure that my spreadsheets formulas are correct. Um, I, I do um, plan everything out ahead of time on a um, spreadsheet and then I just am copying down from there. So the total for all of these bills will be 2,350. I'm not really sure where that stopped recording. So I'm just going to back up and start from the beginning of the variable expenses again. So, um, anyway, our first line item here for variable expenses uh, is our grocery and household budget, which includes everything from food items to um, household products like paper towels and tissues and things like that. Um, and then it also includes any like personal care items um, like shampoo, toothpaste, um, things of that nature. That all goes under grocery and household. Um, it would be nice to be able to like kind of see more broken down expenses, but most of those items are all purchased together. So it really isn't worth the trouble to me um, to separate everything out. Um, I don't remember exactly where this was uh, when I was last recording. I want to say or I was putting like 450 to maybe 500 down in in our budget for grocery um but obviously with the way everything has been increasing in price and we also have a growing family so that has gone up quite a lot um my husband actually said something yesterday about like just how quickly the food disappears out of our house now that the girls are growing and even the baby's eating real food now so yeah um we go through a lot of food <laughs> Um, for gas and auto, um, really this is mostly just gas, but I do, um, leave this open for, like, um, oil changes and things like that to go into this category. Um, uh, so I have 150 for that. We had been staying around 120, but, um, I feel like that's gone up quite a bit last month. I don't know if it was just like the timing of how we filled things up, but maybe um, it was also just due to um, a little bit more driving for the summer, but um, we'll see. If I, if I have to drive my daughter into school every morning, that's going to go up a little bit, but I don't know yet. Um, we haven't gotten her bus routes yet, um, they usually mail them out to us by now, but I think there's a massive bus driver shortage in our desk, in our district. So, um, yeah, it's, it's something that we have to figure out. Um, last year they wanted her to be driven down to a side street to be picked up. And at the time, like I had a baby, so that just wasn't happening every morning. And then on top of that, the bus she was getting on, was full of middle schoolers, um, and then she would be switching buses to finally get to her school in the morning, and that was not okay with me. So we 
Uh, well, my mother-in-law was kind enough to drive her in um, in the mornings, but I'm hoping that this year she'll be able to just get picked up from a bus that goes straight to her school um, like we had the year before, but um, that is yet to be seen. So for our next category, we have baby uh, expenses, which is going to be things like diapers and formula. Um, both of those, I actually have a pretty good stock of um, all of that, so I don't really think I'm going to be buying much this month. However, um, Summer is probably going to need a convertible car seat pretty soon. She's definitely approaching... Um, <laughs> growing out of the infant car seat. Um, although we might be able to push this a little bit longer, she does like being in her infant car seat, especially like if we're somewhere um, and she's like in kind of a cranky mood, we'll put her in there and she just like kicks herself like crazy and just like rocks and she loves it and it keeps her calm. So, um, so that is the nice thing about it, but she's starting to get pretty big. So carrying her in it is a little bit of a challenge because I'm really tiny. Um, but yeah, so I put 150 for here just in case we do purchase a convertible car seat, but maybe this month we can get away with actually coming in under budget somewhere. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, so home improvement um, is our next expense category and this is a tough one this is definitely our weakest spot when it comes to the budget um, and spending money we bought a very old house well it's not it's probably 70 years old um, but it is something that we've been putting a lot of work into. We bought it and it needed um, basically to be completely re uh, renovated. Um, and so we're kind of in this habit of constantly doing projects around the house and um, it's easy to get carried away with that for us. So I'm putting 150 here because I know we're going to be um, finishing up a couple of things. We just planted grass out in the yard um, because we had this like massive overgrowth of weeds that has been there since before we bought the home. And we just haven't been able to really get ahead of it because everything's been growing so quickly. Even if we clear an area out, it it's just like relentless and it grows back so quickly. Um, so we rented a mini excavator and fortunately my dad knows how to operate that kind of machinery. That's, um, that's what he did, um, before he retired. And so he like tore up our yard and we planted grass, but we're not done with it yet. And then if there's any spots that we need to like fill, um, it's just really important that we get the grass down so that the weeds don't start to take over again, um, in some of these areas because they're things with like all of these vine systems that just keep it coming back. Um, anyway, I really got off track there, but um, home improvement is our weak spot. And I, being realistic, I'm putting some money in this category because I know that we're going to have some expenses, but I'm going to try really hard to just like keep it to uh, the bare minimum for that. Um, okay, so our next category is kind of like a mashup I keep it kind of vague, um, personal spending slash family entertainment slash eating out. Um, so this is a pretty broad category that covers anything from, um, personal items. If we like, you know, go to Marshall's and need some clothes or, you know, um, stuff like that. Uh, to family entertainment, like our Netflix and our like Disney Plus get filed under this category, and then also eating out. So if we like decide to get a pizza or something like that, um, that will go under this category. So it's like a general spending money category. Um, 
And for that, we have 150 uh, budgeted for this category. Um, next, I just have a miscellaneous because frankly, I'm really bad at um, planning for the unexpected items that come up. Um, and there's often something that I really haven't thought of that's happening in the month um, that will throw me off budget if I don't account for that. So I'm going to put 100 here. Um, and honestly, this might be like school support, like last minute school stuff for my oldest. Um, she's going into third grade. She has pretty much everything she needs from her school list, but um, I'm sure there will be some odds and ends. I think she might need a new water bottle, stuff like that, that um, if they don't fit under one of these other categories, then I'll just put this under miscellaneous. Okay, um, so that is going to be it for the miscellaneous, or I'm sorry, for the various ca um, spending categories. And then I will show you what I do with any remaining funds after that. Um, so for this category, our total is 1400 And now I'm just going to transcribe this down here into our totals so that we can, um, here actually, the stand for my mic is over here, so I'm trying not to get in the way for that. Okay. Um, so let's put in our income which is 4,500. We have our fixed expenses at 2,350 and our variable expenses at 1400 um, and this leaves us with $750 remaining after um, all of our budget items. So what I'm going to do here, um, in the past I would have accounted for this um, in the variable expenses column, but I wanted to kind of do things a little bit differently just to kind of switch it up um, and break things out. So I'm going to, let's see, actually, I'm going to use one of these stickers. I think I'll do pink. So this is going to be school taxes. We are going to use $600 of our $750 and put that into our um, school tax fund. So um, that should cover the bill, um, I have about two, um, about 2000 set aside. There's a little bit more in the sinking fund if we need it, but I'm going to plan on getting this out of our budget for that. And then with the remaining, uh, with the remaining $150, we are going to put that towards uh, care credit. So going forward, um, the bulk of what is left over, um, I'm hoping I can put that towards the balance on the care credit. Uh, but this month we have the school taxes, which is a little bit more pressing. Um, so that is, um, 
that's where our focus is going to be this month, basically. Um, so that actually pretty much sums everything up. Um, of course, I haven't been really diligent about planning on paper for quite some time, so there's definitely... Oops. I also have to learn how to <laughs> control this camera better. Um... So there's definitely a risk that I overlooked something or we're not going to be disciplined enough to stick to this, but for the most part, I think we have enough wiggle room um, that we should be able to handle whatever comes our way this month. Um, and like I said, if we absolutely have to pay ourselves more from our businesses to cover something unexpected, then we can do that. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how everything plays out and um, coming back next month and kind of adjust learning from that and like adjusting as needed. But let me know if um, you guys have any questions about what has changed in our budget since the last time I was filming. I know a couple of you have really missed my videos and you've been asking. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to be back on here and be able to share.